with security of you have the ability to enable the NIST SP800-53 and begin accessing the environment to map controls to your account configuration. Your company might use NIST as a set of guidelines for configuring the environment. NIST SP800-53 is a cybersecurity and compliance framework developed by the National Institute of Standards and Technology, an agency that is part of the U.S. Department of Commerce. This compliance framework helps you to protect the availability, confidentiality, and integrity of your information systems and critical resources. U.S. federal government agencies and contractors must comply with this standard to protect their systems, but private companies may voluntarily use it as a guiding framework for reducing cyber security risks. AWS Security Hub is a cloud security posture management service that performs automated, continuous security best practice checks against your AWS resources to help you identify misconfigurations and aggregate your security alerts or findings in a standardized format so that you can more easily enrich investigate and remediate them. Security Hub currently supports the AWS Foundational Security Best Practices Standard, the Center for Internet Security AWS Foundations Benchmark, the National Institute of Standards and Technology NIST, the Payment Card Industry Data Security Standard PCI DSS, as well as some service managed standards. In this video, I'll dive into the security checks aligned to the NIST SP800-53. AWS Security Hub maps these NIST requirements to controls and run security checks on controls to assess whether the requirements of a standard are being met. To see and activate this standard and the checks within it, let's go into the AWS console for the demonstration. From the AWS console, click on config if it is not currently enabled. AWS config must be configured to record resources that are required for the controls that you have enabled in each enabled standard. From the AWS console, click on Security Hub. Click on Security Standards on the left navigation pane. Under NIST, click on Enabled if it is not currently enabled. Click on View Results. When you enable a standard in AWS Security Hub, all of the controls that apply to it are automatically enabled for that standard. After a first-time score generation, Security Hub updates security score every 24 hours. Security Hub displays the timestamp to indicate when a security score was last updated. For the security score section over here, this is the overall security score and is calculated based on the proportion of past controls compared to the total number of enabled controls with data and also we have the percentage of field year. Click on all enabled year. This gives us the list of all automatically enabled controls for that standard. Right here we have the compliance status, we have the severity, we have the ID, we have the title, and fill checks columns and also you can click download over here to download all enable control in this security standard into a csv file also here we have the total number of pass controls over here and also we have the total number of field control over here let's walk through an example finding you click on the title 
over here to get more details on the field status. Here we can see, you know, the status has failed and the time that was updated last. We can see the severity here as critical also. Also, we also have the option to click on disable control if you want to disable this control from this standard manually. You click on standard and requirement over here. Here we can see the next requirement that's related to this field control. Also, we can see some information over here on the status, workflow, account, region, and the resources involved, investigates, and the last time it was updated. And also, we can click on this arrow here to download this field control into a JSON format. Also, right here, we have the option to click on remediation instruction here. Uh, this is going to take us to a completely new page and this is going to tell us how to remediate this failed compliance status. That is it. We learned in this video how AWS Security Hub can help to easily and effectively align your environment with NIST SP800-53 standard. You can try AWS Security Hub at no additional charge with a 30-day free trial and get access to the full AWS Security Hub feature set over the 30-day period. To learn more and get started, visit the AWS Security Hub documentation provided here. Thank you.